sorry. Could have changed from um, from how you felt. I think at, at the end of uh, the Australian Open, you seemed very happy um, at the net. Just some thoughts on how you performed today. Oh, happy is a. <laughs> that's a. <laughs> That's a little too far out um, out there, but um, you know, I, the the quality of the match um, is not even in comparison to what was in Australia. The level of my game is not even in comparison to what was in Australia. So, there's um, from this match, there's a lot more positive um, that I can take. Um, it was a great set, a great two sets of tennis from both players, and uh, you know, unfortunately, this was the second round. So in terms of the level that, that you were able to put forth out there? I mean, is that just a, a reflection of, of the work that you've been putting in, you know, of the of, of practice coming into this or playing Serena, you know, bringing out the best in you? Uh, um, I think it's a little bit of both. I feel like I've been improving from uh, uh, week to week after Australian Open. You know, I said that I took a, a pretty good step forward in Acapulco, even though I didn't... Um, do fully the results that I wanted. Um, so it's, you know, it's it's a little it's a little pieces. You know, there's nothing um, big that um, is missing in my game. is is really about putting putting those things together. Today I was able to do um, most of the times that. Sometimes you know you play against the best uh, player in the history and they're gonna push you. But um, as I always said, Serena pushes me to to play my best tennis. Um, I, th I thought that today was a good match, um, definitely a lot of high quality. I don't feel there was um, really a loser in this match. You know, she really won. She deserved to win. She played better on those, you know, important moments. I felt like every game was, you know, add deuce, add deuce. So it was all about, you know, who's going to take that chance. And she took them a little better today. It's been a long time since you played her. What were the emotions like before the match, during the match, in terms of just seeing her across the net again and feeling her game? Um, you know, as as much as she's the toughest opponent I've ever played in my life, she's um, my favorite person to play against because I feel that for me the um, why I still play is because I enjoy the challenges. You know, if it's if it's easy, if it's boring, it, I don't want to play. But those type of challenges uh, always motivate me. And Serena is one of those players that I always look forward to play. Again, not maybe in the second round, but. Um, my draws have been amazing <laughs> in my whole career, so there's no surprise about that. Given that statement of needing the big challenge, though. Oh, I have plenty of them. Don't worry. I have so many that I would love to share with people. But, but when you're not coming up against such a big player, mm. that's going to happen for grass throwers. How are you going to get yourself up for that in season and winning and capture that kind of motivation? Because it worked so well tonight. Oh, well, I, mean, I think it's, you know, I, I feel like I prepare for um, every match really the same way. You don't prepare for opponent, you prepare yourself for the match. So it's up to me to continue to, to bring that out of me, you know, that, um, um, that desire to play, that fight, you know. That's something that I never lose, is to fight for every point, no matter who I play, where I play, good, bad, or whatever. Everybody knows I'll fight till the last point, and I'm going to continue to do that. Being an extraordinary match, uh, thank you, and uh, an extraordinary moment at the end of the match. Can you share a little bit about that? What was going on there? You guys had a pretty extended, warm hug, and what you were talking about. Well, uh, I think it's not a surprise that uh, we have um, mutual respect and love off the court. You know. <laughs> on the court, it's a, it's a fight, it's a war, you know, it's uh, a lot of intensity, but after the match, uh, um, it's over. After the match, that's that's it. Whoever won, you know, it's congratulations. We both, I think, think it was an, uh, quite an amazing match. I hope people enjoyed watching it, and um, I hope we can, we can do some more of that because that's what tennis is about um, today, and uh, having such a match on the International Women's Day was, I felt that was really incredible. Nikki, how, how rare are those friendships on the tour? I mean, that kind of warm exchange, you just don't see it that often. And there's some girls that just don't really get that close to um, I would disagree with you. I think that there is a lot more. I don't think it's uh, maybe visible as much, but there is a lot of um, friendships on the tour. There, you know, 
I actually had a wonderful time in Acapulco knowing, um, getting to know my doubles partner. I've never really played with her. I knew about her, but um, we got to hang out I in Acapulco and play doubles, and she's an amazing girl, so I got to know another person. And I think, uh, you know, I, th I don't think, I feel that there is quite a few um, players that are in their own lane, let's put it that way, and they just want to focus on themselves, so it's up to them. But I don't think that's a tendency in in the tour. I, I really don't. You said, you said that there were, you, you felt that every game was a deuce game. I counted, I think, 13, 12 or 13. Um, mm -hmm. Is there one of them that you, you feel like now, 20 minutes after stepping up the court, that maybe that one was the one that could have kind of the scale. I feel like every one of them could have. You know, I, th I feel in this type of close matches, um, in this type of intensity, one point, one shot can change um, the momentum. But uh, <laughs> when you're facing someone who will n not give you one single free point, that's it's a tough one. So that's why it was a lot of those games. Okay, you were uh, briefly a part of an amazing uh, ad by Nike that was aired on. Uh, oh yeah, am I crying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was it was powerful. Uh, yeah. What did you think of that message in in that ad campaign? In that ad campaign. I felt that it was um, it was an amazing moment um, for women in sport. I feel that um, there was we showed um, great vulnerability that does exist and what people don't really talk about. We talk about being tough, being being strong, being focused, and we are all that, but we are also human with vulnerable feelings and emotions, and uh, we get hurt, um, and people see that. I felt there was a little bit of too, uh, some too many um, comments about, you know, why don't men don't praise themselves and I was like well go ahead but why can't we do that and celebrate each other and support each other and show what we're about we just want to support equality and that's everybody's right there's no discrimination about men or women we are just women who want to be better for women and uh, it's one of my goals to to try to pave the way you know for women in sport who have kids right now and uh, I feel that the Nike ad was in great support with that and I hope they're going to continue to to push those limits to push those boundaries and um, because that's what it's all about you know for for us Billie Jean King did it 40 years ago it's it's up to us to continue to to climb up to not look back to continue to move forward and um, I'm I'm really proud to be part of that. A, a tennis perspective tonight. I mean, just from on the court, what do you, what were you pleased with that you did well, and if, if there was anything that you didn't, that you did well. Um, I mean, there's going to be plenty of things that I can imp improve because you know you dissect a little bit the game after and you try to look. I felt that I definitely returned well today. It was probably one of my um, best matches in terms of returning today. Um, uh, it's you know it's hard to to talk about serve because you have someone on the other side who bangs the ball, you know, and, and it's a lot of pressure. So there was a lot of breaks like that because we know we're going to put pressure from, from each other. I felt that I moved well, uh, which is a part that I've been missing, you know, before. Um, so um, there's a lot of positive. There's a lot of things that I could have done better. So I need to really um, look at the match and take the best out of it. Is there anything Serena's doing better, you think, Mika, than when you played her uh, three, four, five years ago? Um, she's defending better against her things she's doing well I feel she's playing a little bit uh, uh, more aggressive you know she's really going for a little bit more mm, but <laughs> she's she's still there's not many weaknesses where you can find um, you just got to go through and find and, and play yourself because she's not gonna give you much at least to me, uh, to me. <laughs> 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 some other players maybe but not me <laughs> thank you thank you oh yeah. oh.